Hello students, how are you? I am your Jahid sir and welcome to the Jahid sir's math class. Today we are going to discuss one more important questions. One more important question from circle for 5 mark question. Very most important for 5 marks. What is that question? Prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. What it means? Prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle. Circumscribing a circle means in a rhombus, if a circle touches four sides of a parallelogram inside, then it is a rhombus. Then if all circle touches four sides of the parallelogram, then this ABCD parallelogram is a rhombus. Okay? Let us prove that one. First given, what is given in a said question? Parallelogram given. Okay. Now A B C D is a parallelogram. A B C D is a parallelogram. Already we know that. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So, AB, AB, opposite side, CD or DC, and BC is equal to AD. Already we know that from the properties of parallelogram, opposite sides equal, opposite angles also equal. Okay. Now, next one to prove what we are going to prove in this question. In this question, we are going to prove that A, B, C, D is a rhombus. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. This one we are going to prove. What is Rhombus properties, if a parallelogram, in a parallelogram, four sides are equal, then it is a rhombus. All properties of parallelogram satisfies this rhombus. Okay? Now, to prove, sorry, proof. Already we know that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram and a circle touches four sides, then we, to, we took this one P, Q, R and S, yes, these four points, which are the point of contacts. Now, look at this one from A, from A to A P one tangent and A S one tangent, means here up to here only, up to here, here, up to here. So, A P is equal to A S. Why? A P is equal to A S. Why? Because tangents drawn from external point, this one is external point, tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal. So, first we, wish, we should write like that one. Tangents drawn from external point are equal. That is why from A to A P equal to A S, this one is equation 1, okay, from B. B P is equal to B Q. These two also tangents from B external point. So, B P is equal to B Q. B P is equal to B Q. This is let it be equation 2. And then from C point, C R this one is equal to 
C Q, two tangents. So, C R is equal to C Q, this one is equation 3. Now, from D point, D R is equal to D S, this one, D R is equal to D S, this is equation number 4. Now, we are going to add all these four equations. So, adding by adding 1 equation 2, 3 and 4. We get here A p plus B p plus C r plus D r. A p plus B p plus C r plus D r is equal to this one is L h s this side R h s A s plus B q plus C q plus D s this is we get here. Now, If I divide these two one pair and uh, these two one pair, here also these two one pair and remaining these two one pair. Now, first two A p plus B p, look at this A p plus B p. So, sum of these two tangents is equal to the side A b, that is why this one A p plus B p is equal to A b plus here C r plus D r. C r plus d r, sum of these two tangents becomes C d. So, C d side is equal to, now these two B q plus C q, B q plus C q, sum of these two tangents is equal to B c, B c side plus remaining A s plus d s, A s this tangent plus d s this tangent is equal to equal to a d. Yes, from the given here look at this a b is equal to c d, b c is equal to a d. From given we should substitute here in the place of c d we should write a b. So, a b plus a b, why because both sides are equal opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram. So, a b plus a b this side also b c plus we can write b c this one also. Why? a b is equal to c d and b c is equal to a d this one is given. Okay, already given in the question parallelogram. Parallelogram means opposite sides equal. These two sum of these two is 2 a b is equal to 2 b c. Now, both sides to cancel a b is equal to b c means this in a parallelogram a b is equal to b c means one pair of adjacent sides are equal in a parallelogram. In parallelogram a b c d one pair of adjacent sides are equal. In a par parallelogram, one pair of adjacent sides are equal, then it is a rhombus. Hence, so A, B, C, D is a rhombus. hands proved. I think you understood. If you understood, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.